Hello again, welcome here at Mac TV in the Mac conference room where today I want to tell you about the measurements of your sport rifle. Here I have an ISSF rule book. If you look inside you find about 10 pages and a lot of rules describing the allowed measurements of your rifles. The shooter should know all these rules because in the competition they may be controlled. And the shooter should know these rules already in training because the rifle in training should be exactly to the limits which are given by the jury. To get all these measurements on one page, we made this little poster here. Uh, the poster has a size of 1 meter 20, which means it's nearly or it is exactly the size of the real rifle. If you look on the details of the poster, you find one picture where we look on the rifle from above and you find another picture where we look to the picture from the sideway. And inside this picture you find all rules which are given and interpreted by the ISSF. This is the air rifle and if you want to know the rules about small bore rifles, you just turn it and here you find all the rules and measurements of the small bore rifle. Let us see how the poster is built up. In the center you find the most important measurements which every shooter should know and which, ever, which every shooter should realize in his rifle. These uh, main rules are written in English and in German. So this is 50 meter rifle measurements, Maße des KK Freigewehrs. Every rule you find here is shown on the picture as well. Let's take uh, one example for the free rifle, the lowest point of the palm rest. If we look here, we, say, we see that the depths of forend the Tiefe des Vorderschaftes may be 200 mm or less. So here on the picture we find the barrel line where all measurements are taken from. And we find here a measurement of 20 cm or 200 mm, which show us the allowed lowest point of the rifle. <clears throat> if we take a meter to control, uh, we can hold it here and we see that it is exactly 20 centimeters on the picture as well. So we can use this picture like a meter to evaluate all measurements. One interesting dimension of an air rifle is the length of the system. If we look on our list, uh, it is written here that the total length of the air rifle system, the maximale systemlänge des Luftgewehres, may be 850 mm or 85 centimeters. Let's look on this air rifle and let's control this length. The first question is where does the system really start? And this is this point, the end of the aluminium case. And it is that point, the end of the tube. 
So to control this, I take my meter now, which is the normal procedure, and I hold it to my air rifle, and I see, I see, oops, it seems to be five millimeters too much. So in the reality, I would have to reduce the length of this air rifle by moving the tube five millimeters back. In air rifle, we have a, a limit for the lowest point of the forend. We remember it was 20 centimeters at the small bore rifle. In air rifle, it has been changed to 12 centimeters. So uh, in this example, I would take my meter, put it on the base of the forend, and here I find, for example, something like 11 and a half centimeter or 150 millimeters. So every measurement described in the rule book I have to control on my rifle and I can find it here on this picture. If you are a shooter or a coach, one of the first things that may be interesting about this poster is just the question, which dimensions are ruled? So there is a very easy one, like the total weight, which is 5.5 kilos. There is uh, special ones like the length of the system or the depth of the forehand. And there is uh, important ones like the dimensions of the butt plate. Uh, you can see that the butt plate uh, has the most descriptions on this picture, which just means there is a lot of restrictions about this piece of aluminium connected to your shoulder. The butt plate, the form and the position of the butt plate seems to be of special interest for the rule makers. If we take a look on our poster, we find a lot of descriptions about the position and the form of the butt plate. So one interesting detail is, for example, the depth of the butt plate. If we connect the two top points of the butt plate, the question is how deep can it be at this place? And the rule says it can be two centimeters. As you see, we have uh, drawn it here uh, with a lot of arrows and lines to make it understandable. More important than the depth and the length of the butt plate seems to be the position. So uh, you see here that we have three different drawings which show us three different possible movements. One is moving the butt plate to the left or to the right, to the left or to the right, which can be three centimeters away from the axis of the barrel. The next possible movement of the butt plate is turning it to the left or turning it to the right, which you can see here in the second row. So it says it can be turned until it reaches the limits. It can be turned to the left or to the right and of course less than in this drawing. The third picture shows us what happens if we turn it and move it to one side. The rule here 
may be interpreted like you can do what you want as long as you are inside the three centimeters. This is how the German Sportordnung understands this rule in the moment. The ISSF, to be true, is not really clear about this measurement. And we find another interesting thing. If your butt plate is of three elements, they all have to be turned to the same side. And the fifth picture about the butt plate tells us about turning it around this axis and there is no limit in the moment. So when we want to control the dimensions of our air rifle we can do it by taking the measurements from our list or from the rule book and then measure it in reality. Which means, for example, the lowest point of the grip we find here in the drawing can be 16 centimeters or 160 millimeters. So we take our meter, go to our rifle, go to the lowest point of our grip and then we look where is the center line of the barrel and in the moment this seems to be something like 15 centimeters. This is one way and uh, it's a little bit complicated if we want to measure everything. With our new poster we can do it in a different way. We put the rifle away for a moment put our poster on the desk and now we take the rifle and put it directly onto the picture. So now we use the paper as measurement. Controlling the grip with the poster on the desk is quite easy. We put it in the way that the barrel line is in the center of our rear barrel. And now we see the line here which describes the allowed distance from the center of the barrel and the lowest point of the grip which can be 160 millimeter and as we see on our drawing here is enough space the grip could even be two centimeters more down this grip is definitely the same this poster of dimensions and measurement of sport rifles was produced by Carl Walter and Mac. It may come to you with every new Walter Sport rifle you buy in future or you can order it direct at macshot.de. On the poster you find a QR code that connects you to my homepage where you get the newest information about the change of rules. Whether you are a shooter or a shooting club, it's a good idea to get the measurement poster and to fix it to the wall of your shooting range. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this little tape.